And what's going on, you bastards? And welcome to a new video that I got. Uh, this is a new game I've been playing some. Not uh, not the most in depth and not the most knowledgeable about it, whatever. But I am ranked 62, uh, which, I mean, is fine. You can literally get that in a couple hours. It's no big deal. But uh, I wanted to talk about this game a little bit and do some summons on it. We do have some of the currency farmed up. Because uh, they kind of just shit out the currency at you for a bit. Uh, but we'll get into the summoning there a little bit. If you don't know what Sword Master Story is, it's pretty much an auto player, side scroller, uh, like auto farmer, pretty much. Where, uh, you know, you have your roster of characters and whatnot. Uh, you equip them onto a team. And then uh, each, each of the units have, like, kind of their own quirks. Like, I got a. A healer, Rachel. Lilith is like a debuffer and a, kind of a buffer at the same time and an attacker. Odin is a, an attacker, you know, magic damage and sh shit like that. This lady, I believe she's like magic damage as well, but she's like a fire attribute one. And Yes, this is Odin from Norse mythology, guys. Norse mythology. I don't know, you're probably going to see me mess with the aspect ratio of this a little bit. Cause, I don't know, it's a little weird to me how it's... uh. It, it, like, I had to have it too blown up or whatever. But anyways, yeah, that's Odin from Norse Mythology. I'm just like, uh, okay. And this is Deadass. As you can see here, you know, you have other characters here that are unlockable later on. You got, like, three stars, four stars. And then you got, uh, you got your five stars. Like, you got Ares. You know, there's some people, Gaia, people from throughout history. And right now, there's actually a Konosuba collab out uh aqua's a healer uh darkness is a tank and then megamine is an attacker uh you know it's all uh for pretty good this is what uh kind of got me into the game was i'm like oh man a collab and if you know me from grand summoners i am a sucker for collabs so uh we'll, we'll uh we'll check out more of the game but first hi there if you liked what you saw <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, you got all sorts of goodies here. You got your little adventure mode where you go on adventures. Your team. I'm, I'm not getting too in depth with uh, what's going on here. But up here, you know, you got your stats. The A uh, spinning thing is like an auto battler, like on. And then the, you know, you can speed up the timing and whatnot. So all your characters have skills and whatnot. Um, you know, your main dude, Kane. This guy, uh, you know, the Kirito looking guy is literally locked on to your team. You cannot take him off. And then uh, all these other characters are characters that you just, uh, you know, like you click on, uh, I click on Lilith there. We use an ability and then, uh, you know, you just go through, you can literally just walk away here. I'll click on that, you know, click, you know that's uh, Kane's ultimate ability right there pretty much. So that's a little bit of the story. You, well, of the adventure mode uh then you got raids which i haven't really done uh yeah and as you can see this is straight up a waifu game guys this uh you know it's, yeah uh, uh, yeah I, I don't know too much about the raid so i'll probably have to get back to you that you got that roulette right there where you watch an ad you get some currency or whatever uh then you got the battle which allows you to uh take on floors of dungeons and stuff like that uh we're not gonna do that right now uh, you know, you got, uh, where you can farm currency, like, uh, you know, you have equips and stuff like that here. Let's see. Choose difficulty. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, so, up in the top left, it's just like, dude, I don't think you can handle it. And I was like, shut up, I know what I'm talking about. And then, boom. This is, like, if you're not sure if you're gonna win, you take it slow, you take it off auto, and stuff like that. And then, uh, hopefully you just don't get murked. Yeah, kind of, okay, yeah. All my characters literally just died there. <laughs> so, maybe we'll have better luck. It, like, it's just, like, sometimes so fast what happens. So, we'll try it again on the same difficulty. We'll just, we'll just full send it. Let's see, see how we fare. And that, that, yeah, that dragon breath literally just, like, wipes out everybody. 
now it's just me alone and uh yeah so i should have taken its advice and be like hey dude you're not strong enough for that we'll get there eventually but then you can uh you know you have gold oh, shit. why is it that that keeps happening every So I am a colossal dumbass, right? Because after those notifications, this is a couple days later, actually. After those notifications, I went back through the footage and realized I actually um, muted my mic. My mic was muted the whole time through the summons and everything. So I'm just going to go through everything here. Here's your quest, uh, or I'm sorry, here's your... Uh, rewards that you get for completing you know missions and everything like that they got dailies they got you know achievements and then they got growths right which these this kind of irks me a little bit these are only available right when you get the growth pack you actually have to buy uh where is it so this growth pack you, I, I did that on my main. Don't, 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 don't judge me. This is the only, only thing I spent money on. This is the, like, you had to purchase this to get these. I, I found that a little grimy, but, uh, I mean, whatever. It's a gotcha. At its roots, it's pretty grimy. Then you got, uh, guilds, which you can join some other people, do some raids, I think, and everything like that. So, yeah, it looks like there's a bunch that are free to join and everything like that. But, uh... I don't know. I'm not sure what determines your guild rank. Probably how, how much you do raids and everything like that. Uh, then you got your characters. You know, you got your character library. I'm not going to... Oh, God. Spoiler alert. Um, or, ah, uh, spoiler alert again. Then you got your different packs of what to buy and everything like that. Costume packs, right? There's these rare souls that uh, you can get by selling duplicate characters and things like that. And uh, you can actually change what your characters look like. Like, you can... Uh, you can have, uh, what's her ass? You can have the main character look like uh, Kazuma from Konosuba. And just a whole lot of di different things. You can even do different genders. Like, the you can turn your main character into a female. Uh, PvP, which I haven't touched yet because I'm still trying to uh, learn the game. But you can kind of see, I don't know, there's... Oh, okay, yeah, good for you, buddy. There's uh, a few different team compositions there. And, uh, yeah, I should probably try here at some point. I got 50 of the keys. Don't know how. Probably just from progressing. And then, uh, this is the roulettes. This is where you, uh, you know, get some stuff if you watch an ad. Unless you buy a pack, then it's free. Like, right, if we do a, a roulette right here, boom, we get a scroll. Uh, then a raid is what I was talking about with your guild. And then, uh, yeah. And battle. I, I think I already talked about this. And then we got our summons. So this is post LP right here. Just like, you know, we're, we're about to get into the summons and everything like that. You got a store right here where you can exchange things and, like, you can change stamina for rupees, rubies and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, now to get into the summons. I lied. Before that, up here at this bar, you know, you can uh, pop open the Discord. You got uh, gift boxes where you can get some of your gold tickets if you're uh, awarded them and everything. Uh, then you got, I, I, I don't know, everyone on the server talking? Like, I'm not sure. I, I feel like it could be a gaggle and what it looks like. It's kind of a gaggle, but anyway. Uh, then you got your pack, you know, what you're holding, your inventory, pretty much. And then you got, uh, yeah, your menu. Good old menu. So... Uh, do this option down here if you're playing it through. Use active skill only in boss fight during the adventure. Or else, you know, uh, some of your big cooldowns and stuff, you're just going to blow them on a uh, normal mob. So make sure you, uh, you try to do that. And uh, also a good feature. We'll go into story mode real quick. Ooh, this is hard for me. Uh, this one right here. You got your damage meter and stuff going on. Like stats, uh, healing. You can also do LCD protection mode. So if you're, you know, you got like 10 minutes to kill, you want to farm up some stuff, slap this on. It doesn't wear out, I yeah, mean, like your screen and stuff, you know. And it saves some battery, I imagine. So, uh, yeah. And then you just uh, tap it a few times. And then boom. And then 
And so this is kind of the fundamental of the game right here. Uh, stages you're supposed to win, you don't because, you know, your characters just blow. Like, especially, like, if you have Megumin. Oh, God, I did the spoiler. Uh, if you have Megumin, she does her fucking explosion on some shitter mobs. And then you go to the boss and you lose because you don't you don't have that damage, you know? All right, now to the summons. So you got your uh, free summons that they give you. And, uh, you know, once a day you can do a free summon, you get equipped. Yes, yeah, summons involve equips and uh, characters alike. And you got this pickup banner, right? So it increases the rates that you have of uh, picking up the character that's actually right there. That's, you know, featured. And, uh, yeah, it's like a 2% chance to pick up Megumin right now. So this is kind of why... Kind of why we're summoning, and uh, after some summons, you had to pick up Guaranteed Gauge, right? It's the pity system, where it's just after... Like, every time you summon, it goes up 11 times. It goes up as many times as you summon, kind of, with your rupees. Um, yeah, so every summon you do, it's 11. So you have to do 12 of them, right, to do it. Because if you only do 11, then you're at 110, whatever. Uh, so... I mean, and it only activates, right? So you can summon all these different pickups. It carries over. And then the last summon you do, where it fills that gauge, it will get that character. So yeah, Aqua and Darkness have a significantly lower chance than uh, Megumin right now. Megumin was at two. And then you see all the weapons and everything like that too. So uh, yeah. So, all right, now let's get into some summons right now. This is why we're all here, you know? Do the 11 times, do, boom, multi. So doing a multi has a benefit. Um, Rachel, we already have Rachel, uh, has a benefit. Oh, wow, feels good. What could it be? And literally my second multi into this game, I get this featured character. Dokkan would never would never dude so we just immediately get megumin and my actual reaction was a lot better than this like i was just like holy shit like that's crazy but uh i spoiler alert i already seen the ending of this video so <laughs> but uh yeah i mean it, i was just like oh shit so i was just like man do i do i save now until darkness has a higher chance because i want to summon on darkness um, because I want to get all the collab units. And Aqua is free, actually, seven days. So, but this event, if, if you went to start this game right now, this collab ends, like, the 31st, so you wouldn't have enough days to, to log in. Yeah, it's like a login reward, imagine. Dokkan would never. All right, and we got a good weapon. And we got Kaladbold. Sword used by Fergus Machroich. Yeah, okay. And there's a rumor that this is a prototype of Excalibur. And another, another legendary? Oh my god. How? Come on, dude. Imagine. Literally, literally Dokkan would never. And that makes me sad. That makes me uber sad. But uh, now we got two Megumins. This is an amazing multi. Absolutely amazing multi right here. And this was like my first multi. I took a, a screenshot. I put it on Twitter. And I was like, hey, maybe this game is good. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get on to the next multis. So as you can see, the pickup gauge did go up by 11. And I, I was contemplating. I'm just like, do I leave it? I'm just like, dude, like I'm. this is my first video. I don't want to just do one summon and then get out of here, you know? So we have to do uh, another one, and uh, I mean, you, you'll see if you uh, if you play this game. Um, yeah, this this was uh, we, we we got some more characters, which is good, you know, to fill out our roster. But I can't imagine three stars, even four stars, are the greatest of units. These are some just, like story characters here, and we're getting some more uh, weapons for them, and then. Uh, yeah, we got her again. And then we got this guy, Chaos, a four-star unique character. 
Um, he's a he's a fighter like Kane, I believe, but uh, I don't think he's that great defensively or something like that. Like I watched a video on it, uh, like Vulcan, I think I watched a video of him. He's like, yeah, this guy runs to the front and just dies all the time. And then, oh, we got a good weapon, and we got ancient katana, which I I'm for. I'm for it. They give me more more of the good weapons that we don't have yet. More good weapons, more equips. Just give me all everything. Then we get a four star, which is good. Like, you know, until I have all five stars for my party, like four stars, definitely. Have a role to fulfill, just like the characters, Saris. I, I just move on there. I'm just like, and I got another good weapon. And it's another ancient katana, which in your party, you can only have one of each weapon, I believe. So having two of these don't really do anything besides feeding it into the other one and boosting its stats. So you, you see like a little exclamation mark when you go, and we got Merlin. You see your little exclamation mark over the item telling you that you can transcend it? And Merlin, like, you think like a character like Merlin, you know, thinking the ancient Camelot and stuff, and we got Rena. It would kind of be a little bit stronger, not just like a plain Jane unit, especially like Seven Deadly Sins. People, uh... People go crazy over that. And we got Bella. So we're getting a bunch of characters this time around. Are they going to be usable in a party? I don't know. And we, then we just, you know, a bunch of her. And uh, for Fiend of Men, you get like a red star that you can see that you transcended that character. So overall, we got some pretty decent equips and like units. You know, we're new. You know, we're trying to collect. You know, we're, we, we're trying to collect the units, collect the, the items and all that stuff. All right, so we're taking a look at all these uh, characters we got here and all that. You know, scrolling through our uh, what what we just got here, we we definitely filled out uh, our our box a lot because uh, didn't really have all of these guys. But you got you got some you know the collab characters. Some of these characters do look pretty unique. You got Lucifer uh, right there, uh, Ares, Athena. You know, you got like Norse mythology, like Greek mythology, and some other characters. Johan, just you know, just. Mostly, like, 90% waifus in this damn game. And then you got, like, an, the most NPC-looking-ass character right here. It's <laughs> how plain he is. And what I didn't know, right, is going to collection, you can actually see bonuses that you get for the team compositions. So if you run certain characters in your party, you get certain buffs. And I'm just like, oh crap! Like that's that's pretty cool. I didn't. I knew like the Konosuba like had something like that, but I didn't. I didn't know like just the the normal characters did. So that's that's pretty cool to see. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see that. So you could build your team around that, you know, accordingly. All right. So swapping back over to the game, this is kind of the party I'm running right now, uh, and it's been going a uh, pretty decent. You know, I, I did a, I had to do a lot of, like, auto farming, go figure, to, uh, to get this, to get the, the resources and all that jazz. But, uh, uh, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed. That will pretty much be all there is for, uh, this right now, uh, Sword Master Story. I will probably do, oh! <gasps> I'm not gonna do it right now. I got to include this in a different video because this video is a gaggle and I don't want to, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it's going to be a mess because I have to do all the, uh, my voice separate from the video because I'm a clown. But anyway, bastards, if it's your, <laughs> all right, bastards, if this is your first time coming around and you like what you saw, hey, why not give that uh, subscribe button a little press, like the video and all that jazz, check out some of my other uh, videos. And uh, I will be uh, doing a couple more videos of this. I, I feel like this game isn't exactly like a really long-term game. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, you bastards, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.